Today I've got five nonverbal cues that you engineers need to be paying better attention to at work. Let's get into it. They say a huge amount of communication is nonverbal, so paying better attention to nonverbal cues is very important if you want to really understand everything that's being communicated around you. So let's get started with the five cues you can start watching today to help improve your nonverbal communication. Number one, eyes glazing over. This is the most stereotypical cue that engineers miss. You should be able to tell when someone doesn't really care about what you're trying to talk to them about. And starting to pay attention to this, this eyes glazing over is very easy to do. You just pay attention to the person's eyes. And I don't mean stare at them. I mean, pay attention and when you do go past their eyes, see if they're actually watching you or near you or if they're looking past you or through you, nearby. Just see if they're actually engaged in paying attention to you. So the glazing over of eyes is something you should be able to catch on with really quick and pivot the conversation away from whatever you're talking about if it's appropriate. So if the person doesn't seem very engaged, then you can either try to re-engage them with a pull back to the conversation or disengage and come back to the conversation at a further time. Which leads into my second point. Receptivity. Is the person that you're trying to talk with or converse with actually receptive to what you want to tell them? And I don't mean receptive as in accepting your message. I mean receptive as in they're actually ready to receive your communication. So if they're giving you nonverbal cues that they really have no interest in listening to you, why are you continuing to talk to them? This should be quite obvious, but if this person's not receptive, you either need to change your message, curate your message, maybe disengage for now, go back and email this person, whatever it may be. But if the person's not receptive, you need to figure out why they're not receptive. Is it something you're doing? Is it something that it's not appropriate right now? They have something going on in their personal lives. There's a lot of different things that can go on here, but this, emotional and social intelligence that you need to build by paying attention to these cues will get you further ahead than if you just continue to talk at people that are not being receptive. Number three, big size. Are you talking to someone and you literally hear an audible large sigh? You should pay attention to this because if this is being said while you're going into some deep dive topic with this person, maybe this is a really good sign that this person is a bit checked out from talking with you or doesn't really have interest in discussing things right now. Big size, especially if you're talking about something rather emotional or emotionally charged, a big sigh could be a pretty strong indicator that there's something that that person is processing emotionally. And you don't have to explicitly call out that they just had a big sigh, but you could pause and maybe mirror back what you expect that they're feeling like, wow, that must be frustrating. Something like that will make that person feel much more seen than you literally ignoring their massive sigh that they just let out. A big sigh can also be combined with number four. Number four, closed body language. What do I mean by closed off body language? Well, I mean literally closed off. So maybe they start folding their arms, putting their hands in their pockets, so they kind of close off. They could fold their legs if they're sitting down. They could turn away from you, kind of closing off the conversation from you. If you see this happening, what should you do? Well, you should be paying attention to it. And if you see this happening when you're bringing up certain topics, maybe you should pivot away from those topics and towards something the person's actually interested in. The final tip for today, number five, is missing end of meeting signals. This one in particular can be quite a challenge if you're not used to paying attention to this signal. So pay attention now. An end of meeting signal could be as simple as when you're standing talking to a person, that person literally turns to leave or says, I have to go to a meeting, I have to leave, or just says, okay, cool, send me an email, we'll see you later. Not paying attention to these little social nuances when the person wants to end the conversation can lead to some very weird interactions. I've even heard some situations from coworkers where they've had people that are so bad at reading this end of meeting signal that they'll follow them at work, even into the bathroom in one particular instance, which I thought was absolutely crazy. And that's what you should avoid. You shouldn't do that because 
I'm recounting this story years later. That's how unexpected and kind of awkward the situation was. So you should start paying attention to those little end of meeting signals and learning how to better close up a conversation and move on to the next one. Do you have any other nonverbal skills I should add to this list? You should drop me a comment below because I'm always looking to increase the nonverbal cues that I should be watching. I know you got a lot out of this social intelligence video. If you want more on social intelligence, you can check out my playlist up here. Or if you're ready to get back to IQ, you can check that playlist out over here. Or keep doing what you're doing and getting the results you've been getting. Up to you.